Solve for x such that 3 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x equals 6 to the power of x. There is actually a pretty answer. If x is equal to 3, then our left hand side is 3 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 5 cubed. And 3 cubed is 27. 4 cubed is 64. 5 cubed is 125. And if you sum these three numbers, you end up with 216. And 216 is what? It is actually 6 cubed. So that means x equals 3 is an answer to our this question. It is a solution. But now we have a problem. We only know that x equals 3 is a solution to our equation, but we don't know if it is the only solution to our equation. So our job is to find other solutions. However, it's very hard. So now a second method comes to our mind. That is, we can prove that there are no other solutions anymore. Look, we have 6 to the power of x on the right hand side. So what we can do is to divide the both sides by 6 to the power of x. So we get 3 to the power of x divided by 6 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x divided by 6 to the power of x then plus 5 to the power of x over 6 to the power of x. Now, the right hand side is 6 to the power of x over 6 to the power of x, which is equal to 1. And the left hand side is very pretty. It is just 3 over 6 to the power of x plus 4 over 6 to the power of x plus 5, 5 over 6 to the power of x equals 1. And of course, we can simplify the left hand side. And the left hand side is going to be 3 over 6 is 1 half. 4 over 6 is 2 thirds. And this is 5 sixths. Now, you can see that the right hand side is very simple. It's just a constant. It's just a number. Pay attention. Now, we define the left hand side as a function. So we let f of x be equal to 1 over 2 to the power of x plus 2 over 3 to the power of x plus 5 over 6 to the power of x. Then we can notice that f of x is just the sum of three exponential functions. And 1 over 2 to the power of x, 2 thirds to the power of x, and 5 sixths to the power of x. Now you can notice that their bases are all less than 1. So the bases are all between 0 and 1. So what does it mean? It means that if a is a to the power of x is an exponential function, and if a is between 0 and 1, then the graph will look like this. This point is 0, 1. So what can we say about this graph? It is strictly monotonically decreasing. So that means that are these three functions, these three exponential functions, are all strictly monotonically decreasing. So our f of x is the sum of these three functions. What does it imply? It implies that our f of x is a sum of three strictly monotonically decreasing functions. So f of x is strictly monotonically decreasing. And we have to solve this equation. So we just have to find the intersections of these 
two functions from the left-hand side and from the right-hand side. Don't we? f of x equals 1. Our left-hand side is strictly monotonically decreasing. Our right-hand side is a constant, is a number. So, if we want to solve this equation, we just have to find their intersections, the intersections of these two functions. If one of them is strictly monotonic and decreasing and the other is constant. One or zero. So it means that these two functions have at most one intersection. However, we know that x equals three is a solution to our equation. So that means here we have x equals 3. Since they have at most one intersection, then it implies that x equals 3 is the only solution to our equation. Since we've already acquired one intersection, and that is x equals 3, and f of x is 216. So, the only solution to our equation is x equals 3. Did you get it? Did you get the method? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!